Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yo, hey man, check it, check it, man. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica, man. And uh, it's crazy, man. I'm checking out what's going on in the media. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Boosie and Lil Nas X going back and forth, man. Um, man, pretty harsh words were stated. Um, I think it was it was a crazy deal. To, for them to be responding to one another, especially when it's been uh, kind of a gray area of the fact that the, they both uh, kind of don't roll with each other, right? Yeah, especially um, Boosie. Boosie don't roll with Nas X, but did we ever hear that Nas X don't roll with Boosie? It's just because of the whole conversation about him. I wouldn't even say homophobic, just because he's saying, was talking about discussion about his own child. That doesn't mean he's homophobic, you know what I mean? Um, we don't even know if he knows anybody that is gay that he might even, you know, not to say be total friends with, but, you know, an associate. I'm sure that he knows someone that he has an associate for. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it, but when you think about uh, what Boosie was uh, pretty much uh, talking about his daughter and, and, and alluding to the fact that he wouldn't give his daughter away, I, I tend to feel a certain type of way about that myself. But, um, you know, what did he go a little bit too far when he tweeted what he tweeted about Nas X here recently? Um, that's why we got on, because I'd like to see, you know, in our comments just, did he go too far with this one, you know? Um, you know, uh, what did Nas do to, to bring on that type of energy? Nas X, he spoke about um, doing a song with Boosie, but you already know that Boosie, he don't mess with Nas X, okay? So for the fact that he said something like that to him, um, or about him, that riled his feathers, but I personally don't agree with what Boosie said about him, as in, you know, um, he needs to die, or everybody, you hate yourself, and I mean, just all of that, it just seemed like hate towards him when all Nas X said that he yes he lied that he's doing a song with him but at the same time it just came across like he's a bully to me personally and I understand maybe it's a thug in him and so forth but and some people just don't care about what they say with certain things like that but in a society of the internet and people watching you know and taking things very personal you got you got to be careful of what you say well, you know, like, I mean, when you think about Boosie, Boosie's always been very vocal about whatever he's talking about and passionate about what he speaks on. Um, today's society, it's all about views. Nas clearly, Nas X did that. Lil Nas X did that for to get, uh, you know, some type of recognition or some type of, why would Nas X even do that? Lil Nas X, they say he's rich and he's all, he don't have to do all that. Well, evidently there's something there. He, he definitely, uh, he threw the bait out there for Boosie to speak back to him. So I've been working on this song with Lil Boosie, bro. I had this song with Lil Boosie from the come out. Fire ain't gonna, ain't gonna even lie for it. He evidently enjoys the going back and forth, I guess, you know. Um, hey, man, you know, he know already what Boosie's going to do when he says something like that. So evidently he likes the trolling uh, mechanism. And, hey, man, you know, you just got to uh, take it for what it is, man. Both of them playing for views. I, I, I really believe that. And so when I look at the beef and, you know, uh, the, the, the way that they're going back and forth, I know, I know already we're in, a, we're in a, a society that moves and vibes off of views, man. So I don't know. How do you guys feel about what Boosie said about about Lil Nas, how do you feel about Nas? Lil Nas uh, uh, X uh, really um, just trolling Boosie. What do you think? Uh, is this something that is this the society that we, that we live in? Or do you feel like Lil Boosie is uh, homophobic, or do you feel like he's just basically uh, saying, "Hey, man, keep on, you know, keep my name out your mouth, or yeah, don't even mention me." Uh, what do you think, y'all? Let us know. Um, so, official Miss Jamaica, do you feel like, uh, do you think Lil Nas X will continue to go back and forth with him, or you think he'll leave it alone? No, I think this is an ongoing thing. I think that Labusi and Nas X, they're going to keep going back and forth because, as you said, it's a publicity thing. It's a way to um, be in the media constantly to keep themselves relevant. Um, so, I really think that this is going to be this ongoing thing.
at least until everybody stopped paying him attention, which I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. So, do you think that he's, uh, you know, this, this, you know, basically all, all Lil Nas X said was that they're going to make a, a a song together, but. I, I get it, man. Uh, this is crazy world that we live in, man. So, hey, man, you guys stay tuned in, man. We're going to be coming at you with different things like this from time to time because we like to hear from our people and what their insight is on how they feel about what's going on in society today, man. So it's been another great segment, another new segment. What are we going to call this? Hmm. Y'all should put it in the comments. I leave the fans to tell us what segment. Name this segment. That's what I want y'all to do. Name this segment. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.